Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 as Victoria. So, we have quite a few cities laid out. I might get another city down here. I'm kind of considering going for that. I could also take over or uh, take command of Vilnius and get access to those elephants. I'm kind of playing around with a few different ideas. I did manage to get my hands on a scout to go check out the northern side of Yosemite because I think it could be worth it to settle up over there. Um, now this guy was heading up there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in the water, but I'm not going to commit to here. If there's a better spot over this side, I'm definitely going to move him over there. Uh, I still have this archer doing a bit of fog busting down here, so I'm just going to have them hang out as well. <clears throat> now, you were kind of coming back because I need to guard... Uh, it is an honor to meet you. I need to guard this sea route if I'm going to go across there. So I'm going to send a delegation to the Congo. I'm going to make a deal. I'm going to go ahead and take open borders with him. I'll pay 16 gold for those open borders. That's fine. And we'll go to the next turn. Pal and Q. Okay, so there's a city-state. We just finished currency. Okay, so it looks like there's an Australian city on the other side. Um, that might mean it's worth it for me to buy those tiles. But I think what it really means is that I'm going to head over here for sure. Now, unfortunately... Um, all of this terrain is Pangaea. Like, I don't seem to have found another one. There is another one down here. This is Pangaea Ultima. This is just Pangaea. This is Pangaea Ultima. Yeah, it seems like I've just... I've only found one continent, which is kind of annoying because my civilization has bonuses for multiple continents, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, we do have some overseas settles we're going to want to make. I have another settler. I think I do want to settle for those elephants. Now, there is a thing down here. I need to watch out for that get up on the shore. So you're on the way there, that's fine. That was kind of a risky move. So caravels are out on the map. That's something I need to be careful about. Um, they're going to hurt my ships a lot if I'm not if I'm not careful. Also, my nose is a little bit runny because it's a summer's day. I would love to settle over on some of these islands because there's plenty of room for potential seaside resorts, in particular over here. In fact, I might even try to sneak a settler up onto this piece of land here. Um, let's get you across and see if I can find out uh, something there. Do I have another warrior or something? I do. Why don't you head down to me to put that guy? Uh, then I built a farm here, and I think that was a reasonable thing to do on this tile. This was a... Uh, Floodplains, which is pretty much the only thing I could really build on a floodplain, so is a farm. Let's see. So the farm seems to make sense. I have another builder charge. Which for the holy site. Uh I could go for the sheep. It's not a bad move at all. I think we're just gonna leave things the way they are and let the city grow a little bit. Maybe I'll send this Builder Charge over to here and improve this guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's go ahead and throw down... Do I want to farm here? I think I do. That'll give this city really good growth potential. Uh, do I like the gold? I, I do need gold right now. So I think I'm going to focus on getting the gold there. There's a good campus right there. Uh, you would like open borders. How about mutual open borders? That sounds good to me. That'll improve our relationship a little bit. I could settle on horses, actually. Mm. I could settle on horses. I could settle beside horses. If I settled on horses, I would have better defense. I think I might settle on horses here. Then I can do like Holy Side Campus plus something else in this like triangular area. Yeah, I think I'm going to settle that to claim it. We've got another settler coming. How much is it for it to purchase a settler? It's probably going to be like 500-ish. 405. Okay, 405 is a pretty decent price. Did you come down here?
So let's have a look at the appeal map mode. Right. So there's definitely land worth settling here. Uh, what's the settler map mode like? There's not much fresh water, but this, this land is decent for production and potentially some tourism later on in the game. For example, uh, there's a couple of seaside resorts around here and stuff. If I were to settle somewhere, where would I settle? Probably like right there. On this tile. Jump into the water. I have one build charge left. Do I want to keep that sheep tile? That's an important question I have to ask myself. Um, if I keep the sheep tile... Yeah, since it's a hill, I think I'm going to keep it because I can't put a um, I can't put a thing on it otherwise. Although I could also get my coffee online because I don't actually have access to coffee yet, do I? No, I don't. So I think I might save this guy to get the coffee. Cross the river, shoot here, go there. Looking good, looking good. I'm feeling pretty happy about this setup over here. Could be worth it to settle another city down here on this mountain here. Maybe, you know, it can be questionable. Ah, so I am the suzerain of Valletta. That's good. I have no idea where Valletta is. Uh, here. That's actually really good. It gives me the plus two production towards settlers and stuff like that. That's very, 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 very nice. Uh, it also gives me the ability to spend my faith on certain things like walls and uh, monuments. Could be worth it to spend my my faith on monuments. Oh man, monuments or builders? Well, actually, builders don't really do a huge amount for me right now. So I'm gonna put a farm here. Boop. That's gonna give us a pretty decent growth tile. And um, then I'm gonna get these elephants improved. That's gonna be another luxury. And I gotta ask myself if I want to keep that wheat tile or not. Um, the city's gonna have pretty bad growth otherwise. In terms of national park potential, this is actually a decent spot for a national park. Yeah, like a couple of forests would do it here. So I think we're going to harvest that. Let's throw down the... I can build a farm here later, like for now, but later on I'll probably harvest it. Uh, let's go ahead and get the National Park sign there. And there. Okay. Now, in this city, what do I want to build first? Well, part of me wants to build the holy site. Part of me wants to build the Royal Navy Dockyard to get the thingy, the, the bonuses from that, because it is our civilization district. Part of me wants to build the granary. Part of me wants to build a monument. I could also purchase these things. Um, I guess I could also go for a theater square. I feel like the holy site is really what's going to be powering me through this mid-game here. Lots of faith. Culture. I do need to start getting great rider points, though. This this maybe isn't the city to do it in, though. Um, I have a campus. Oh, maybe we just go for the basic buildings. Monument, granary. Get a lot of growth. I think I'll throw down the holy site. But I won't quite build it yet. Lock in its price. Fairly cheap. There's Hobart. Oh, your loyalty is flipping. That's really good, actually. In fact, aggressively settling over here could be really good. It could further encourage the flipping. In fact, I might even settle there. Then I just have to throw a person in that city and it'll be well protected. Yeah, so this is the tile I want to settle in, right here. Getting to that tile is going to be difficult. Can I do a swordsman upgrade? I don't have iron working. That's unfortunate. 
shoot the Carvel. Okay, there we go. Plus three error score for the first Holy Site with three adjacency. That's this one up here, I think. Now, uh, this city is growing really well. I'd like it to grow a little bit faster. The shrine could be really good, but it could be a lot of culture. I don't need that culture right now. I, the faith, though, getting the faith would be really, really nice because this is like the most powerful faith is going to be in my game with respect to developing my empire. So I feel like going for the shrine is the right move here. In fact, it could even be potentially worth it for me to work... Um, Faith slots, but that's kind of maybe a later on thing. Oh, actually, I should improve those turtles. That'll be a good tile to have. Uh, I also need to improve that pasture. I think I will Faith purchase a builder here, because I need the builder charges to keep improving. I think I'm going to put this guy in hull, just so I can get a road all the way up my empire, uh, at least on the land. Then, my builder has been completed here. I have no idea what you finished just before this. Probably a campus, right? Uh, well, the, the real answer to that question is, do I have any great science points? I do. So I have no idea what you built. I forget what you built. Granary. Need to grow past this population. I need to throw down another district, however. My, the tile spaces I have available for these are, are limited. I might drop an entertainment district over here. That would give me appeal on these two tiles. And it would make this thing useful. I'm going to throw down the Royal Navy Dockyard right here because it's a high value tile. But I'm not going to quite work on it yet. And then I think I might put a uh, amenity district here. So Hobart is flipping, so if we can encourage that further, that would be really nice. So I need to get up onto here and see if I can get to this tile, because this will capture basically all of these tiles. The exception of this one, which is a good tourism tile, which kind of makes me want to move to there. That's also a decent tourism top. Th this city is mainly being settled to generate tourism. Generate tourism, that's its main goal. Okay, so let's stick that down. That's a good tile. It's going to generate a lot of resources for us. We do have that fish tile. We do need some tile improvements down here, in particular mines and stuff like that. Um, we'll get more. More of those dudes. Yeah, I think I'm going to temporarily put a farm here. That'll get me the feudalism boost. Considering we are going for feudalism, that'll give me the extra two build actions on those builders. Probably should have waited on the Manchester stuff, but yeah, you know, what are you going to do? Could be worth my while to settle over here. Okay, you have three build charges. I guess I did build a builder. There's the sheep tile improved. Okay. And I'm going to improve the crabs. Nice one. I think I might just raw chop these forests. Without Magnus boosts. I need to chop these jungles out. That's where I'm going to send you. Head over this way. Now, my London is still my highest production city, right? Some cities are starting to catch up in terms of production, but London is still my best. Could be worth my while to produce settlers in Manchester as well. How many turns would that take? 19 turns. It's a long ass time. Right, trade with London. I want to get those roads up. <clears throat> Uh, that's not where I meant to put you. Whoops. 
you've got one bill charge. Let's see if we can find somewhere for you to go. <clears throat> for now, I'll just leave you where you are. Next turn. Clear out this barb camp. I think that's a good move. I think I'm going to settle on the marsh. There's feudalism. So I want to put in... This card. Serfdom. But I don't want to lose out on urban planning. So I'm going to go for Classical Republic. This will let me put in serfdom. I do miss out on the auto autocratic legacy thing. Uh, plus two influence per turn. Let's choose our civic over here. Now we just got feudalism. We want to get to... There's a few different things we want to get to. We want to get to theology so that we can start building temples. Oh, please don't clog up this area on my settler. Please don't do that to me. 11 turns until they rebel. We need the city to keep growing to be able to expand its thing. Can I force some growth in here? Okay, 15 turns. The granary will finish soon and that'll force more growth. Okay. You've got two build charges. I think I might raw chop these just to boost the city along a little. Clear that. Nice one. We got plus three error score out of that. Angling for a normal age. I've got one build charge here. Could be worth it to settle over here. Could be, could be, could be. I've got one build charge over here. Not sure what I want to spend it on. I might just send it up to the north. We'll think about that. Yeah, probably going to just send it up north. Okay, so he's happy about me killing the barbs. November might want to take a friendship with me. I think I'll talk to him next turn and see if he wants to be friends. Uh, it's an honor to meet you, Germany. Exchange information on our capital. Germany's all the way over here in Aachen. Is the mistake of an accidental and so Germany, let's send a delegation. Let's make a deal. How would you like to do open borders? Make an equitable deal. I'll give you like 10 gold. I'll give you like 16 gold. There we go. 16 gold for an open borders deal. That's reasonable. Settler has been completed. I would like to build my theater square. However, the more I delay my settlers, the worse off in the game I am. So I need to get around to this tile. Need to get up to there. I have my galley in position. To support. More settlers. Uh, do you know what I need? I need a stronger unit. I think I'm going too hard on the... one side of things. Do I have iron? No, but I have horsemen. Can't build them without a uh, thing. I need a second copy of horses. Which tells me I need to settle on these horses here. And that'll let me buy a horseman. I'm gonna hold on to those. Uh, I'm going to buy walls up in that city. Just stay there. Okay, I'm going to chop here. That'll hopefully speed up that settler. Nobody else has any theater squares. That's good. So we're going to settle on these horses purely so that I can get my city defense up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to purchase ancient walls just so there's a nice city here with a choke point potential. And then I'm also going to uh, build a horseman at some point somewhere. I mean, 16 turns in this city isn't terrible.
So here's what I'm thinking here. I'm thinking like holy site compass encampment this will block and then a uh, a commercial hub here and that'll be like the four city districts that this city takes I think that's reasonable for that city Let's get these horses improved that'll give us a lot more uh, let's keep chopping here. Very good. Four turns on that settler. So you're heading up to the north. Let's keep the quadrireme, or galley on the way, rather. So being able to faith purchase walls is really nice. Yeah, I think I will chop here. Finish that granary a little bit quicker. Now the question is, do I want to grab the monument? Or the library, or do I want to go straight down into something like the Royal Navy Dockyard? I could also build another builder. Now, the Royal Navy Dockyard would give me access to the lighthouse, which would increase the amount of food that I get from this city. Which would let it grow a lot more. The library would give me more science. I don't need more science right now. I need development. I need infrastructure. I need production. I need food. I need growth to get my theater squares out, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the Royal Navy Dockyard. I think I will grab the monument just so that the city's borders grow a little bit quicker. Mm. Now, nah, you know what? We're going to go straight. Straight lighthouse. I want that trade route. This hole there, we're trying to sneak a settler around. Um, builder, head up this way. Go there and stay in alert. We'll go to the next turn. Somebody build Petra. Okay, that's reasonable. I was kind of eyeing up the potential for a Petra here. Apologies, I'll settle elsewhere. That's okay. Inspiration for mercenaries. Okay. Okay, you're doing a good job there. Three turns until Australia rebels. Okay, I'm excited about that potential. Finish the uh, Royal Navy Dockyard. That'll get me potentially a second. I would really, really, really love a second um, Golden Age. If I could get a two Golden Ages in a row. The Renaissance is the last era where you can you still use faith to buy builders and stuff. And that would be incredible. That would pretty much set me up for a win, I would feel. Let's go chop this. We'll finish another Settler. Um, I think I'm going to quickly grab the Theater Square. And then go back into Settlers. I want to get the Theater Square done just so I start generating some of these points. Otherwise, Germany's going to take them all um, from having those uh, things. And somebody got this Great Rider. I don't know who. But I don't want to lose out on any more Great Riders. Not while they're cheap. They're at their cheapest right now, so... Now's a good time to start developing them. Uh, particularly because my religion is culture and stuff like that. Now, in terms of religion, I do have my religion spreading really well, thanks to the uh, settler religion thing that I have, where my, the cities take my religion as soon as they settle. I've got seven pressure in here. I've got seven pressure in here. Lots of pressure in here. I have a decent amount in here as well. Yeah, quite a bit. Should, uh, should flip over to me in not the near future, but, well, you know, not too far from now. Uh, let's see. Do I harvest this stone? What's the appeal like here? If I threw down a lot of forests, I could probably get a national park in here. Maybe we'll do it. That'll finish that horseman, and that'll importantly make me a little bit scarier uh, to attack. So I just want to limit how vulnerable I look to the AI in terms of warmongering. I want to make it over to this tile. I'm 
part of the problem is I don't have a navy to defend my boats, uh, my settlers rather. So I'm going to send you up to the north here and see if we can maybe look into settling around over here somewhere. Do I want to finish apprenticeship? Yeah, that's reasonable, I think. So normally when I'm going for some sort of tourism win, I would rush for the theater square. But I'm kind of trying a different thing where I go uh, holy sites with a couple of like trading districts and then I get my theater squares late. I'm going to play around with the different ways that you can win. So temples are going to be important. Holy site adjacency could be really, really good right now. In fact, it could potentially net me more than... Um, than the other stuff. A lot of my faith is coming from working the tiles, though. So maybe that's not quite so good. Okay, we want to get to monarchy. Maybe? We want to get to reformed church. That's what we really want to get to. So we'll go monarchy first. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... We're going to harvest this. That'll force some growth in this city. I'll drop a holy site down. And delete that pin. Okay. We're going to send an envoy over to... Let's see. Laventa. I'd like to get up to level 3 with Laventa. That would make my shrines better. There's the... that should get net me like plus four faith? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I'm working on it. Two turns until Hobart uh, flips to me, I think. It should flip to me. Or it'll flip independent first, and then it'll flip to me. No! Why? Why would you go backwards? What the hell? Goddamn boat's in my way. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, the, 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 the naval AI can be very finicky and annoying to, to play, play with. I could just pop up here and then pop across. Like, this would save some turns, so I think we might do that next turn. Unit needs orders, just hold on there. Uh, I think I am going to put a mine down here, at least just in the short term, just to get that extra bit of production that we're going to get when we finish Apprenticeship. Didn't quite get the boost for Apprenticeship, which is unfortunate. But Hobart is not growing, and that's really good for me. Yeah, look at that pressure. Good, good, good. The city is going to have really bad production, unfortunately. Let's go get that iron online. Jump in the water as well. Okay, there's Hobart independent. Who's it flipping to? It's flipping to me in nine turns. Awesome. So we get a city for free. I'm happy about that. We get a free city for free. Okay, let's have a look around for the horsemen. Okay, we should be able to make it to this tile. If not, we can always jump back in the water. Come on, don't do it. Don't take this tile. God damn it. Uh... Hundred and twenty-five gold. If I slot in the plus five 
unit strength when combating. Here's what I'll do first. I'm going to quickly purchase a builder in Manchester. Then I'm going to quickly swap out my policies here. I'm going to take out this, put that in there. I'm going to slap in discipline. How is this a major defeat? What if I settled in place here? I'd lose a tile and it wouldn't be quite optimal, but it would be fine. It's totally fine to settle in place here. I mean, this, this, this would be my optimal settle location. Uh, but I think this is going to be fine, and by that sort of rating standard, I think this is also totally fine to just settle here for the safety. So I'm going to clear this guy and settle in place. Um, and there you go, that's fine. So this city is mainly for the... Um, Tourism. That's all it's really for. So stuff like chopping here and all that sort of jazz, that's all going to be totally fine. We're not going to put a lot of builder charges into developing here. In fact, I might even send these builders back to develop my mainland and then worry about getting this upgraded later. Hmm. We'll sort of think about this, but i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to call that the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series of going a little bit different than we would normally do. And I hope that's interesting enough. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.